चलो 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 � Although Ashvin can't film the main leopard scene while here in India, he does still need to shoot several nature shots, including tigers, while here in Corbett National Park. For this job, Ashvin hired one of India's most renowned documentary teams, the Betty family, who have been filming big cats and other animals in the area for generations. The Bettys were heading to a specific area to film wild tigers for one of the scenes in Ashvin's film. They kindly allowed me to join them. But before heading out, I received a warning from one of Ashvin's crew. We were, there's a man-eater over there. Man-eater tiger, tigress, to be more precise. Is it true? Yeah, it's true. She has four cubs with her. Mr. Naresh Bedi and his son Vijay were waiting for me in a highly restricted area deep in the reserve, nicknamed Tigerland. As with all wildlife filmmaking, it was impossible to know how long this would take. The big cats are so elusive that people have been known to wait months for even one shot. Seeing a tiger and filming it or recording it in your camera is two different things. Even if you see a tiger just passing a tail or something, oh yes, there was a tiger. But is that makes a picture, is that makes a shot. That's very important. So there's no scheduling for it. You have to go out, you have to wait. It's their goodwill if they oblige you. See? And you are at their mercy, you call it that way. So you have to wait, 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 and if you're lucky, then you are rewarded for it. Because you're not talking about hours, you're, talk, you're not even talking about days, you're not talking about weeks, maybe sometimes months, you can't <laughs> even see one. So you have to really spend a lot of, lot of time in the forest to get even the fraction of it. And so we venture deeper into the jungle, on elephant back, in search of tigers. But the key sequence for the film, as I understand, was when they go out looking for tigers. And we discussed the idea, we discussed his, what sort of shots he has in mind. I said, I can't promise you, but I can try. Because making, I had made two films on tigers, so I'm pretty sure where to get the tigers. I have this specially designed tripod, which is which I call elephant tripod, which I lower it from the elephant and I sit on the tripod to get any sturdy shots of, of the tiger. That's the only way the tigers can be shot. On this particular shoot, the Bettys got really, really lucky. On the fourth day, they managed to capture the perfect shots for Ashvin's film. A tigress and her four cubs frolicking on the riverbed. It was a sight, you know. Four of them, the mother lying on her back, fully relaxed, occasionally looking up, you know, turning. And uh, these four cubs, two male, two female cubs, and for almost fully grown. And later in the day, you know, these two cubs, anxious cubs, started walking towards me and came up just below me, looking at me, what is this new thing today? and almost started to touch the tripe out there. They had to move their elephant closer to move him away. And if anything happens, the mother would be first to come. You are falling straight into the tiger's jaws. It sounds easy, you know, when you are, I mean, they look very cool, but you have to understand, you have to understand their behavior. It's a very, very risky job.